Relative quantities. Relative quantities are ways in which we can describe how many of one thing we have relatively to how much of another thing we have. Let's take a look at an example. In the car park, there's a mix of bikes and cars. There are five bikes and 15 cars. One way we can describe this is to say there is one bike for every three cars. We can write this expression out mathematically using something called a ratio. The way we would write down one bike for every three cars as a ratio is one to three. Notice that if we had said that there were five bikes for every 15 cars, this would also have been correct. However, simplifying it down to one bike for every three cars is much more useful to us as mathematicians. You might find that these concepts already ring a bell. The ideas behind relative quantities and ratios are very similar to those underpinning fractions. We're now going to take a look at how these two relate and how you can convert between them. In the car park, there are five bikes and 15 cars. We could ask the question, what fraction of the vehicles are bikes? To answer this, we first need to calculate the total number of vehicles. Because of this, the fraction will not express a relation between the bikes and the cars, but rather between the bikes and the vehicles in total. In total, we have 5 plus 15 equals 20 vehicles in the car park. Of those 20 vehicles, we know that 5 are bikes, therefore the fraction of bikes in the car park is 5 over 20. Since 5 and 20 are both divisible by 5, this fraction can be further simplified into a quarter, 1 over 4. Remember, the ratio for this was 1 to 3, because we have one bike for every three cars. But if we think about it in terms of vehicles, 1 in 4 is a bike. To go from a ratio to a fraction, we add together both sides of the ratio to get the denominator of the fraction. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Then, we choose whichever side of the ratio we need, depending on which quantity we're trying to describe, to express the numerator. Three quarters of the vehicles are cars, and the remaining quarter are bicycles. Remember, we use ratios to express how much of something we have relatively to something else. Ratios and fractions can express the same information, but they do so in different ways. If we want to know what the fraction of something is given a ratio, we need to add all the parts in the ratio together and choose the side of the ratio we need as the numerator.